and welcome back to Mayday in the Kitchen. I'm Mayday and today we are going to make it fancy. <laughs> I have seen this quite a few times on the Tasty BuzzFeed YouTube. I find it very fascinating. The star of the show is Rie and she is from Japan but she works at BuzzFeed and she's a Tasty producer. Here's a photo of her. This is Rie and she takes very cheap foods and she makes it fancy. She has her own little dance to it and I love it and today I thought it would be a cool idea to take one of her recipes and try it out and see if I can create the same thing. So today I chose the video to do Lunchables! The crackers, meat, and cheese Lunchable. I find it very intriguing and awesome that she can do something like that because I feel like I couldn't do that. I mean, I haven't had the training that she's probably gone through. I haven't had a lot of the experiences that she's gone through. So it's really cool to see chefs and cooks out there that can take something as simple as a Lunchable and make it fancy. <laughs> If you guys are excited to see how this turns out, then let's get cooking. If you guys are new to my channel, I am not a professional. I just love to eat. It is my addiction and I want to take other people's recipes, try them out, and see if I can even create it and if it'll come out as a good product. I also go to restaurants and I eat as much as I can because again, I love to eat. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the bell notification so that you guys can get reminded every beautiful Wednesday morning when I upload new videos like this one. Also, please check out my Instagram. I post behind the scenes and things that I'm doing throughout my week so if you guys want to see me, not just on Wednesdays, then go check it out. So the first thing that we're going to start off with are the fingerling potatoes. She just cuts them in half, like that, and throws them in a bowl. <sighs> I forgot to put on an apron. I do not want to get this shirt dirty. This is a nice shirt. She takes her potatoes and she puts olive oil in it and then rosemary and thyme. She puts a pretty good amount in here, so I think that's good. Then she takes her fingerlings <laughs> and she moves it around so that the oil coats everything and then she says two sprigs of rosemary hers went off very easily mine is I'm struggling and then she says she does about four <sighs> Mine isn't coming off easily. Ooh, time smells awesome. Just come off. And then she says two big things of salt. And then she adds some pepper. And I'm going to mix it up again. Make sure all the potatoes are nice and covered. Now we are going to transfer these potatoes to a baking sheet with the cut with the cut and put the cut side down. Next thing I'm going to do is put these in the oven at 425 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes depending on their crispiness and how I like crispy. <laughs> All right, the next thing I am going to do is get the chicken ready, and I get to use this hammer. We are going to flatten out the chicken so that I can roll it up and have things inside of it. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is loud. My downstairs neighbor is gonna probably get upset. Uh, and I have to do this twice. Oh my gosh. I just need to go. I just need to do it. Uh, 
I'm just like embarrassed. Not embarrassed, but I just don't want to like cause a ruckus. Next one. Now I have them side by side. We are going to sprinkle some garlic powder, some salt, and some pepper. Oh my gosh, pepper. <coughs> this is where the lunch bowl comes in. She has the lunch bowl with ham. I don't really eat ham, so I picked out the turkey one. So the cheese is a little bit different, but it's fine, right? It's fine. So I'm going to take the slices and I'm just going to lay them out. That works. And then we're just going to put a cheese on top of each slice. I am going to roll it up. And I'm just twisting the ends so that we have a super tight um, roll, chicken roll. Okay, and now I'm going to let it sit in the fridge for 20 minutes. Okay, while the chicken is resting in the fridge, I am now going to start on the sauce. I am going to melt two tablespoons of butter. Now that my butter is melted, I'm going to add some garlic to it. Okay, and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour to that and whisk. And then I'm going to slowly add my milk. So I'm just going to keep mixing. This is a bechamel sauce. I'm just going to keep whisking until the sauce becomes thick. Sorry, that was really quick. So because she doesn't really say, so I had to like look it up and all this stuff. So I added half a cup of Parmesan cheese and an eighth cup of Dijon mustard. And my sauce is starting to thicken up. So I'm going to take it off the heat and just let it sit. The next thing that I'm going to do is process the crackers and crumple them up so that they are a crispy outside for my chicken rolls. I'm very sad a little bit. In the video, she has a very small food processor but I only have one big one, so I just have to use it. <sighs> that was scary. Oh my gosh, the on button was like pushed down. Whew. That was crazy. <gasps> I forgot some crackers. Okay, I'm just going to do it by hand. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I am going to put my chicken rolls through this process. Flour, egg, then breadcrumb. And it's going to give it a nice crust. She uses gloves, so I'm going to use gloves too. Unwrap these. I'm going to put it through the flour. Through the egg. And then through the breadcrumb. Okay, now I'm just waiting for my oil to heat up to be 325 and then I will fry them in my oil. I am going to multitask here. I'm going to cook my chicken alongside cooking my asparagus. I'm putting in my asparagus. Put it in and I'm going to put a lid on top of it and let it kind of steam and cook in there. Okay, my stuff has gotten to reach 325, so I am going to stick it in. Look at that sound. Oh my gosh. I'm always scared when it comes to frying. 
Okay, well, when that's done getting brown and stuff, I'm gonna finish it off in the oven for about 10 minutes because I'm sure the outside is, is. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> I'm sure the outside is gonna cook a lot quicker than the inside, so we finish it off in the oven so that the outside doesn't get too brown and dark. Okay, I think I'm ready to take it out now. It's getting pretty dark. So, taking it out. It's making so much noise. So, I'm just getting closer to the mic so that you can hear me. Now, I'm going to put it in the oven for about 10 more minutes to finish it off. And hopefully, it'll be done. Okay, now for the asparagus to finish this off, I'm going to drizzle it with olive oil, add some salt, and then some pepper. And let those cook for just a little bit longer. Ugh, this was hard. My chicken wasn't really cooking in the middle, so it took forever, and my gosh. Okay, I am finally ready. We are done, finally. I should have been done 30 minutes ago. But I had to wait. I'm gonna plate it, I'm gonna eat it, and then we are gonna be over. So I'm gonna cut these into little spirals. I kinda already cut one or two of them because I had to check if the middles were done because my thermometer wasn't like working very well. fingerlings I'm putting these on and we have some you can't even see you can't see some asparagus ay, 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 ay. and then she just lays these on top these are actually pretty thick oh well then the sauce the bechamel sauce Ooh. It's done! Okay, it is now time to taste this meal. It looks delicious. It looks very fancy. So I've already cut off a piece, I'm dipping it in the sauce, here we go. This is so good, oh my gosh. The, the bechamel sauce really adds to it, oh my gosh, the Dijon in that bechamel sauce, like I feel like it took it up a notch. Oh. Sorry, it's a bit hot in here, a bit sweaty, but whatever. This is so good, oh my gosh. The crust is nice, the chicken is cooked nice, the seasoning, everything about this is so good. She definitely made it fancy. Make it fancy, make it fancy, make it fancy, make it fancy. I don't know, but she made Lunchables fancy and this is so good, honestly, I would make this again. Buy me all the Lunchables, I'm making this again. This is so good. I hope that you guys can try it yourselves because my God, my gosh, my gosh, this is amazing. Like, I am blown away right now. So good. If you guys like this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.